Yeah, you know, actually, we're here at JT's Liquor, and uh, I talked to the owner earlier. He's obviously very concerned about that, and let me show you why. If we just take a few steps over here, right across the street, there's the Dylan store you were talking about. If this passes, that's who he's going to be competing with. How's it going, boss? Matt Jabara, owner of JT's Liquor, says this is his livelihood. Thank you, baby. I appreciate the business. But a bill proposed at the state house once again has him worried. We'd be done. If passed, the bill would allow grocery stores to sell full strength wine, beer, and spirits, which Jabara says would put many out of a job. You figure 60% of all locally owned liquor stores are done. They go out of business. Right across the street is Dillon's, which uses a lobbying group called Uncourt Kansas pushing for the bill to pass. Our customers just want to buy a bottle of wine or craft beer while they're shopping here at Dillon's. Sheila Lowry, Dillon's spokesperson, says even though similar bills have failed in the past, this year they have momentum. Because there's more awareness out there, more customers are engaged with the process. For supporters, the bill simply means convenience. Just kind of be able to do it all in one and kind of simplify their lives. But other customers say they're concerned with safety. I think if uh, Dillon's or other grocery places were allowed to sell it, I think it would be too easy for minors to go in there and purchase alcohol. We know that that has been a concern on whether we can sell these products responsibly, but we currently do sell 3-2 beer, pharmaceuticals, lottery tickets and cigarettes, so we take those same standards and apply it to adult beverages. According to Uncork Kansas, there is one big change this year in the bill, and that's uh, during the draft, so this could change. It would require a grocery store to actually buy a liquor license from one of these liquor stores in order to sell those extra alcoholic beverages.